guys, it's Naushin and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to review these very new Maybelline Color Blur Creamy Matte Lip Pencils. So they have just released in the market. I have seen them very first time at Alta yesterday. So when I uh, was walking past that Maybelline aisle, I saw them and I was like, hmm, I haven't seen them earlier. So what is this? I came back home, I researched a bit and today I ran to the store to get them. And surprisingly, neither of these colors were there. So I asked the lady there and she told me that they are just flying off the shelf. So I couldn't find that at Alta. Then I searched at my Rite Aid because they sometimes bring all those new um, new collections, but I couldn't find it there either. Then I finally got them at Target. And, but most of the shades were pretty, you know, swatched. People swatched them and destroyed them. So one of my lipstick smudger is already smudged but I still got that because I love this so much I'm not probably gonna use this smudger but I got this color either way so these creamy matte lip pencils are claimed to give you that like either fold on look or you can smudge it to get a little bit softer blurred look so they are probably gonna give you that popsicle lip so this will be my first impression I will apply them in front of you and I will swatch all four of these colors so I got four of them that I felt like will go with my brown skin there is another color um, I guess I'm probably gonna get two more but I couldn't find them at store there there is one mauve color and there is another one the pure red so I couldn't find it there but I'll probably get those two as well so these colors are great I have seen all of them and most of the colors are good for any skin tone so I at least in my opinion I feel like any skin tone can wear those colors neither of those colors are like very nude or you know very uh, pastel pink that you will be scared to wear especially on brown skin so that's not like that so without further ado let's see how they apply so let me just remove my lip gloss so i just came from the store and i felt like i would just do the first impression so one of them i will use with the smudger because I'm not a huge fan of this popsicle lip, so one of them I will just cry as they have recommended, but for the other ones I'll just go for that full on look because I like, I personally like this full on look. So the first color I'm gonna cry is number 25, Cherry Cherry Bang Bang. I love all those names. So they are like, uh, you can twist them from the bottom, so they look like a thick pencil. So these pencils look a lot like the Bite Beauty Matte Lip Pencils. And let me just let me just apply them as they have recommended. So I'm just using them in the inside first to put, uh, like fill it in. Then I will use the smudger to. Oh my God, it's hard to talk when you are applying the lipstick. Then I will use the smudger to smudge it to get that popsicle lip. Let me pull out the smudger. So this is the smudger side, and. So the smudger is not bad, it's pretty smooth so it does the work very perfectly and this lipstick is like very creamy, they are gliding on very smoothly so I'm not facing any difficulty in smudging them. So here you go, this is the popsicle lip. Uh, I found out that the lipstick itself is very creamy and it was very easy to smudge off. This smudge itself is very soft so it doesn't feel like you are you know pulling your lips downward it's not it doesn't feel like that my lips are very dry and chat so if it would be very dry it would be very hard for me to blend but i didn't feel any problem like that so this is the popsicle kind of lip that you can go for like more smoother look or more blurred out softer look but i will go for the other option so now i will uh, fill in my whole lip and we'll get a more full-on bold look so these lip pencils, they are gliding on like butter. I didn't expect them to be this good. And they are matte. I always look for this combination, matte, but at the same time it's not drying. It's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit smooth on your lips. So I like it so far. So it's very impressive. It's very hard to talk when you are drawing your lips, especially. 
So here you go guys, this is cherry cherry bang bang, it's a perfect cherry red. So it's a, it's more on the like more warmer side, but it's not too orangey. I like this shade and the names are pretty funny, cherry cherry bang bang, I love to say that. So the next color I'm gonna try is this number 50, I like to move it. Oh my god, I love those names, I like to move it, move it. So as you can see that this one is more like nudish pink for my brown skin but if you have medium to like lighter skin it will look like more pink to you but for brown skin still i don't feel like it's more blue tone that's why it's kind of you know easier to pull off because sometimes the pinks are a little bit delicate for brown skin because sometimes they they're a little bit hard to pull off even the nude colors but this one i feel like it doesn't have that much blue toned or brightness but it's just the perfect pinky nude it reminds me a lot about the stila liquid lipstick patina and since i am talking about patina let's just compare them side by side why not so let me just swatch them side by side so i haven't swatched them yet but let me just do it in front of camera we will see okay so here is patina and here is uh, this I like to move it, move it. <laughs> I always say that twice because it reminds me of the song. So um, as you can see patina is a little bit more darker and uh, this one I would say that a little bit more blue tone than patina. So here you go. Now the next one I'm gonna try is number 15 very misbehaved. So this is the one I got it swatched. So I didn't do it. I got it like this so I will probably sanitize it a bit because I'm pretty sure someone has used it. Okay. So this one is very bold pink but it has the berry tone to it as the name says. The names are pretty damn right so they have got some hint about the color so it's not like very berry but it's uh it's more on the pinkier side but with a hint of berry there it reminds me a lot about the mac flat out fabulous so i have flat out fabulous in my hand so let me just swatch them side by side because i am interested to see as well because sometimes you know we feel like oh this color reminds me of that but when you swatch them side by side you realize that no they are not at all similar they are from two different walls so let me just swatch and see yeah see i told you they are not at all similar so this one has more red tone to it so this is very misbehaved and this is flat out fabulous flat out fabulous is more like pure magenta pink but this one has more reddish berry tone to it so they are see i told you guys sometimes it feels like they will be similar but when you swatch them, they are from two different worlds. But I think, I don't have it in my hand right now, but I think Berry Miss Beard might be close to MAC all fired up if I'm not wrong. But I don't want to, don't quote me. I don't want to mention that because I don't have it in my hand to check. Oh God, my leaves are probably begging me not to apply any more shade. So the last but not least is this number 40, My My Magenta. For some reason, I don't know, I am feeling like this will be my most favorite one, but I haven't swatched it yet, so I don't know, we will see together. It's the perfect magenta color, but you can see it's so bright. Yep, I love it, I like it. I like all of them so far, but I, this will probably be my most favorite one. So I think this will be more similar to Flat Out Fabulous, I was wrong. So, just see. So this is my my magenta, and let me swatch flat out fabulous side by side. Yep, yep. But still, they are not same. I feel like this is my my magenta, and this is flat out fabulous. I don't know whether the camera is picking it up, but flat out fabulous has more purple tone to it, whereas um, my my magenta is more more pink. So when you swatch them side by side, you can see, but they are very, very similar, like in the same color family. 
So that's it guys, that's all four swatches. I got the colors that I thought will go with our brown skin tone. I still want two of the other colors, like there is one perfect red that cannot go wrong with any skin tone. So I'm pretty sure that's gonna go with our brown skin as well. And I'll probably pick up another plummy shade, I forgot the name, but that plum again, that cannot go wrong because that will go with any skin tone. But these four colors so far I have got, I'm pretty impressed with them, especially the texture of these matte lipsticks. It's uh, very impressive. I feel like they feel so smooth on the lip and uh, I have very dry chap lips. So this is my fourth shade. In the meantime, I have um, swiped them with makeup remover and then, re then have reapplied them. By this time, my lips should be like very dry and chapped. But still, as you can see, the application is very smooth. It doesn't feel drying on my lips and it is not settling on my fine lines. So. That's a very impressive thing. The combination of creaminess and matte, it's very hard to find. The last time I found that in the Clinique Soft Matte Lipstick and now this one. And it reminds me a lot about those Clinique Soft Matte Lipsticks though. So I really like the formula. The formula kind of feels like a little bit powdery. I don't know, is it the right way to describe? But it, it feels very smooth on the lips and it's very comforting. I don't know about the smudger. I'm probably not gonna use them as a popsicle lip. I uh, I personally like that full on lips, but if that's your choice, you can use that too because that smudger is a great tool. It's not too harsh or drying. So this is like, this is a very good applicator. You can use it for the purpose it has been given. One more thing, this color bar lipsticks uh, retail for $7.99 at Target and at Ulta, I guess they were $8.99. So they're a little bit expensive compared to the regular uh, Maybelline color sensor lipstick but these are different formulas and they are giving you the smudger so um, I think like the price is pretty justified and reasonable and um, I cannot talk about the wear time right now because I this is my first impression I have just applied them but I'm expecting them to be long wearing because since it is matte I, I don't feel like it's gonna go anywhere but I'll give you guys some update in the description box of this video or probably in my Facebook and Instagram so you will get to know but so far I'm pretty impressed with this formula and I highly recommend this product because um, it is very hard to find a combination of creamy and matteness matteness is that a word but anyways you get the point so this is very hard to get matte lipsticks but those are very comforting and a little bit creamy so uh, by creamy i meant that like comforting smooth so this is a great product this is a great concept for maybelline i i'm pretty impressed with that formula and i i would suggest to try them on you you are probably not gonna regret and the color selection is pretty impressive too. So I really hope that you have enjoyed this first impression and swatch video and if you have enjoyed this don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I'll get back to you soon with more videos, more makeup talks, more makeup fun. Till then stay well, stay beautiful. Bye bye. Here, this is